I'm Lietze from Google Cloud. And I'm Alvaro from Hiking Face. We'll show you how to take the Gemma 2 model weights and serve them on Cloud Run using the Hugging Face CGI. Cloud Run uh, recently included GPUs, which will make the inference go fast. Oh, that's right. Uh, and it's truly pay for use, because Cloud Run scales down to zero instances when there are no uh, incoming requests. So Alvaro, you wrote a tutorial on this, right? Yeah, that's right, about serving Gemma 2 quantized on Cloud Run. That's awesome. Can you walk me through? Yeah, for sure. So first of all, you will need to start like setting a few environment variables. Wait, 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 hold on. Um, I'll first go to the Google Cloud Web Console and then navigate to Cloud Run. OK. Right there. And I'll start Cloud Shell. So I have a terminal to work with. That's perfect. Uh, now tell me what to do. Exactly. So now you can already copy the environment variables, but you will need to substitute the project ID with your actual project ID. OK, OK. Let's do that. Typing is hard. OK, <laughs> yes, I've got it. Um, now, what's the next bit? I'm already authenticated. Uh, I did enable Cloud Run. And now, first, you want me to create a CloudNet router. So let's do that. But, but why? So in this case, we are sending external traffic uh, to the Hugging Face Hub specifically. And uh, mm -hmm. in order to speed it up, we are cre creating the, the router. OK, OK, good. OK, and then there is a very long gcloud command to deploy the service. That's right. Let's start that. It'll take a while. So while that's running, maybe you can walk me through the settings, right? I know Cloud Run. I, I know what this does, right? gcloud beta run deploy, give it the service name and an image. So what container image are we deploying? In this case, we are going to be using the Hacking Phase uh, deep learning container for text generation uh -huh. inference. Uh, which is uh, uploaded within the Google Cloud. Ah, OK, OK. I made another video on the Hugging Face Deep Learning Containers. Uh, check out the link in the description. Now, this second argument, it specifies the arguments to the TGI container. It sets a model. So what's the Hugging Quant thing? Exactly. So in this case, uh, we are using a quantized version of Gemma 2 which is quantized from vFloat16 to in 4 using AWQ. And high in quants is basically the organization that we maintain and where we upload these uh, quantization models. Hmm. OK, OK. And you reduce those model weights, uh, their precision, right? Because you want to have faster performance. Exactly. OK, and you also set max concurrent requests of TGI to 64. So why 64? So. In order to determine this value, we basically run the tech generation benchmark, which is a tool we have within the TGI that basically uh, finds the best trade off between through output and latency. And in this case, we decided that 64 was the best value for that venture. Mm -hmm. OK, so set it higher, you get better GPU utilization. Set it lower, you get faster token speed. Uh, yeah, right. OK, good. OK, so. I also need to set an environment value, uh, variable. What, what's HF hub enable HF transfer? So we have an internal tool, which is called HF transfer, that basically speeds mm -hmm. up the download process from the Hugging Face Hub. In this case, we are setting it to one in order to speed it up. OK, and this needs to be fast, right? Because every container instance that starts needs to download this model file, and it can be around 6 gigabytes. Yeah, that's right. OK. OK, so this I know. Port, set it to 8080. That's where TGI listens. Uh, allocate 8 vCPUs and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I allocate a GPU. You get one GPU per container instance. It's an NVIDIA L4 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, but you have many instances per service because of auto scaling. Uh, you cap the maximum number of instances to three and set the concurrency to 64 again, because Cloud Run's concurrency, uh, is if it matches uh, TGI's maximum concurrency, you won't get any queuing on the instances. So that's great. I set a region uh, to use central one in this example, but it can be any region where Cloud Run GPU is supported. We set uh, it to be a private endpoint, right? So you need any uh, Cloud IAM authentication identity token to invoke the thing. And that's good, right? Because 
you don't want to have a public inference API uh, that doesn't have uh, authentication. And then finally, if you see egress all traffic, uh, this is how to send all the traffic from the instance to the VPC and then out through CloudNet router because you want to get the, the good throughput to the, to the hunting phase up. That's right. OK, well, let's check back on that deploy. It took about 10 minutes. So how do I, how do you suggest I send a request to it now? So in CloudRun, you will have like multiple options. But in this case, why don't you just use the CloudRun developer proxy to expose the DJI server to local hosts and then just send requests to it? Oh, that's an awesome idea. Let's, let's do that. So I'll find the command that starts the local developer proxy and paste that into my Cloud Shell instance. Then I'll start a second tab. OK, so this starts the proxy, localhost 8080. So now I can open a second tab in my, in my Cloud Shell and, and send an inference request. So this command sends a prompt to the inference API. And there you go. I now know what deep learning is. That's awesome. Thanks, Gemma. Now, keep in mind that when you're scaling from zero, the first request is a bit slower because it has to start the container instance, download the model. Uh, but after that, it will be faster, right? Yeah, exactly, because the server starts listening on the port 8080 in this case, once the model has been loaded and after the warm-up. OK, so and in your tutorial, you also show how to send requests from a Python app, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Since uh, we are using, we are serving text generation inference. We have the Hugging Face Hub Python SDK, which basically is has an API that's compatible with text generation inference, meaning that you can use that client also to send requests to DJI programmatically via Python. Awesome. Okay, to wrap up, we deployed Gemma to an open uh, large language model to Cloud Run with serverless GPUs using Hugging Face DJI. You can find the link to the tutorial that we used in the description. Thanks for watching. Thank you.